close your eyes, come to a place of rest, begin to fix your thoughts upon engaging with God as Father or Jesus as your friend, brother, and begin to slow down your breathing. Breathe deeply. Breathe deeply through your nose and hold it and slowly breathe it out. And breathe in deeply and slowly breathe out. And as you're breathing in and as you're breathing out, you're experiencing the unconditional love of the Father. You're experiencing God's unconditional love. You're breathing in that flow of love into your very being. Every part of you is being filled and still. But God is loving you coming to a place that you're safe in this place cocooned in love this is the place where you can abandon yourself by figuratively getting out of the boat by letting go by sinking into that vast ocean of unconditional love. Where you can go deeper and deeper and deeper into love. Where he will begin to restore love to you. His relationship with you. You're in that safe place. Come and choose that place of surrender right now. Spend a few minutes in that place where you're just sinking into love. If you want to stay there, feel free just to stay floating in that place of rest, peace and love. But if you want to go further, I encourage you just to fix your thoughts now on engaging the Father face to face. But 
that those thoughts form in your imagination. Picture a door in your spirit, first love gate. The handle is on your side. Choose to open the door. Invite Father, Son, Spirit in to embrace you, hug you, to breathe life into you. Just receive that life. As he loves you and tells you, he loves you, he loves you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Enjoy that embrace. Heart to heart. Receive the impartation of his heart of love to you. Feel the warmth of his embrace. Feel his affirmation, his acceptance, his approval that you are his beloved son in whom he is well pleased. Hear him say it. You are my beloved son, daughter, in whom I am well pleased. In whom I am well pleased. Stay in that place as long as you want, enjoying the embrace. If you'd like to go from that place into Eden, following the flow of the river, you can ask the Father to take you. The door is open behind you, you've opened it. You can step back through that door. The river is flowing. Get in the river and let the river take you up into the realm of heaven. You're now at the source. The heavenly flow. You're in the river of life. Within Eden. God's garden. You're in that river. 
You can sink. You can float. You can drink in the water. You can breathe in the water. Just enjoy splashing around, being in that river. Get comfortable being in that river, in that life, in the energy that's flowing. And if you look into the water, you may see gems or scrolls or other things. Swim down. Take those that you feel drawn to. Take them and eat. Place them within you. And receive the life, the truth, the impartation that they contain. And as you take it into you, it bursts open with energy. Fills you with truth and life and love. If you're enjoying there, you can just stay there. If you want to go further, just look up the river. You can see in the distance, there's a waterfall. You can just flow up that river to the waterfall. You can get out of the river. There's a path that's beside the river that you can walk on. Whichever you prefer. Look to that waterfall. The path will take you under the waterfall. The river goes into the waterfall. Just go to the waterfall. And as you're under that water, cascading down, the love of God, cascading down over you, in you, feel his love for you, feel the energy, the life, the desire, the intention he has for you, the sound of many waters resonates in that water, let it resonate within your heart, within your spirit, be entrained by it come into the resonant frequency with it. God loves all equally the same. As you feel God's love for you, feel God's love for others. Feel his love, his compassion for you. Feel his love for others. And feel the inspiration that you can love others the way he loves you. Receive how he loves you to empower you to love others. Anyone comes to mind that you struggle to love? Anyone that may have hurt you, rejected you, 
who abandoned you, who abused you, anyone that you struggle to love. Receive God's love and release God's love to them by choosing to forgive them and release them if you've not done that before. Release what you freely received. Feel free to stay in that. Feel free to go beyond that if you want to go further. <laughs> 